Okay, I wanted to show you one more example in this introduction. We're going to create a new file and have it the dimensions of March. Click OK right here. I'm going to double click this and I'm going to open up an image I just downloaded on Pixabay of an elephant. So there we go. We got our image. Just drag this over here, paste them. I'm going to place them right there. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I want to crop out this elephant. So I'm going to hit W for the quick selection tool, bracket to kind of make it a little bit bigger, and then I'm just going to select this elephant and hopefully it'll won't have any problems. And you see me kind of selecting its feet. So I am trying to get this elephant selected. Feet look a little off. Kind of merge with the shadow there. Let's see here. I'm going to zoom in and make sure I get his tail. I didn't realize elephants have this kind of crazy hair at the end of their tail. So what I'm doing is I'm hitting the option key and kind of delete this section. It's not coming out too clean. I thought this would come out a lot better. So we got our Quick selection tool, select mask. There we go. And I'm just drawing over the outside of the elephant. Right, trying to figure out what should be masked. And anything that's red, it's going to be mask. Anything that's green or anything that's not red is the selection. Let's see what this does. It's not perfect, but it might be enough to get the job done. You know what? That's fine. We're just going to leave it like that. Okay. Now what I want to do, I'm going to change the opacity. So it's kind of invisible. And so what I want to do is I'm going to have text. Hello. Move that here. Now I'm hitting option to kind of copy it. I'm just going to say hello all over the place. And I'm going to put maybe another set of text. So, hi. We'll do world. And there. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to make this super big, have it here, have this, this super big, So I hit Command T to rotate, or Command T to transform it, and that allows me to rotate and to scale. So maybe you can see what I'm starting to do here. I'm just filling up the shape of the elephant is what I'm doing. A little time consuming and my computer's running a little bit slow, but that's all right.
Okay, so now you can see I have a bunch of text. It just says, hello world. It could say anything. I followed kind of the outline of the elephant, but now I really want to fill in the space and I'm going to show you how to do that right here. So now the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to take all this text, I'm going to mouse, I'm copying all this text layer, right click, and I'm going to rasterize type. So that's the first thing I did. Now what this does is this converts all your text into pixels as opposed to being a text object. So now I can no longer change the font or the wording of each layer. So now we're going to go with this one right here. Select bottom hello world, which one's this guy right here. And I'm going to hit the edit transform. And I'm going to hit the warp tool. So now what I'm going to do with this tool, I'm going to warp it. So you can see there's like a bunch of points here and you can start really warping the shape. I should say morph the shape of your text. This is really cool. You can use this for so many things, but it's a really cool thing to do. And I'm just going to go back to edit. Work tool. Just really want to fill out that space. So that's filling out the space pretty good.
and gone. And there we go. We have created kind of a cool word cloud in the shape of an elephant. So that's kind of what I wanted to show you the effect. Now what we can do, we can export this as a PNG word cloud elephant shirt. What we'll do is open our shirt template. Click that, double click here, and then what we can do is get our elephant shirt here. Okay, that looks cool. Can hide that, save it, and we can see what our shirt looks like. And I saved it as white, but I probably want. So there we go. That's what our shirt looks like. And I can see what it looks like on a light blue or yellow shirt. Looks kind of cool on a yellow shirt. Kind of cool on a blue shirt. And if I want, I can come here, copy my image. Actually, what I can do, solid color, make it black. Um, make it white. Save. Go back. Now we got our black shirt. That's pretty cool. I kind of like it. So that's our word clock. Maybe put a palm tree or something in the back. Uh, you can put a message, uh, save the elephant, save the environment, you know, whatever you want. You can put more words. So you can see it was a little time consuming for me to just do these two words. Okay, so this is pretty cool. So I just want to show you this word cloud in the shape of an elephant. Actually, we can do this in any shape we want. We can change the words around, change the font around. You have a lot of options, a lot more options than probably any other tool you've seen. So this concludes our introduction to Photoshop. We have, I have a lot more videos coming and so look forward to that. All right, bye.